Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and today we'll talk to you about the abundance increasing power of tipping well. Now in some countries they don't tip or they have kind of a negative connotation about tipping that the people are doing a job so they don't deserve any more. But in America and many Western countries that where affluence and abundance is more prevalent as far as in the mindset of people because it doesn't mean people are abundant or affluent, but there at least is some kind of idea that you could become that. And when that attitude is present, generally tipping follows, where people believe that if somebody goes above and beyond, you give them a little blessing. You give, because giving is good. It's a good thing. It's not seen as something bad or negative, or you're, you're suffering because you're giving something more to somebody than they were paid for the job or the service. But there's an abundance increasing power in tipping well. Now, tipping well doesn't mean if the going percentage is 20%, you tip 25% and pat yourself on the back. That's pathetic. And it's even worse if you're getting a tipping calculator out so you can get down to the exact penny so you don't dare be too generous and give them a penny more than that percentage of tip that is customary is expected. My friend, that shouldn't be you. You should be lavish in your giving abundant in your if you really believe in abundance you really believe that God supplies your need from his riches and glory through Christ Jesus if you believe in the abundance of God that he freely gives you all things he gives them to you richly to enjoy he gives them to you liberally and abundantly if you truly believe all things are yours in him then why would you be cheap in your tip why would you not tip at all? If you're not tipping at all, you can just point blank, you're saying you don't believe in abundance. Because there's that scarcity, that fear of giving more is somehow taking from you. Not realizing that giving more is going to cause you to receive more. That's why Jesus said it's more blessed to give than to receive. Because the receiver is somebody in need. They're not a blessed person. Because they're the one needing and requiring somebody to give them something. The person that's giving is from abundance. They're flowing from God's infinite abundance and they are blessed. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Now I'm gonna ask you to do something. If you're going to places regularly where they expect tips, now this is gonna be hard for some of you, especially if you're not coming from an abundance mindset, but I want you to start tipping at least base level 50%. Now, I'm also going to say something else. If their service was the worst, there's never been worse service. You're at a restaurant, the waiters mean, they curse at you. It doesn't matter what they do. It's the worst service possible. You couldn't imagine worse service. You still tip 50% or more. What this is going to do for you is two things. One, is it frees you to truly operate in abundance. You're no longer in this poverty average way of thinking of 10, 15, 20% or whatever the going rate of tip is. You're not in that even worse pathetic poverty mentality of not tipping at all. And you are going to receive more back. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men give into your bosom. That's what will happen to you when you give at this level. When you start operating at this level of abundance, true abundance. Not lack, not scarcity, not fear, but giving and blessing and being abundant. Now, some of you may say, well, but I don't have enough money. If I do that, I don't have money to go out to eat. Okay, then don't. I literally in the past came from poverty and so I made this decision for myself to tip at least 50% and what I started doing was if I didn't have the money to go out to eat because I knew okay it's going to be $50 plus my 50% tip it's going to be $75 I don't have $75 I don't go that's simple that's part of the service part of the meal that I know I'm going to be giving and blessing people, blessing the person serving the table, why wouldn't I? And I'm amazed because I've heard people say, well, 
but I went there and only had enough to pay for the meal. Why would you go to some place where somebody's serving you and you have nothing to give them as a blessing for their service? And this old excuse, well, but the store's paying them, the restaurant's paying them, who cares? This is about you. It's not about what somebody else is doing that you think you can leech onto and, and say, well, that, that, that applies for me because they're, they're giving it to them, so that's, I don't need to do anything. That's already enough done for them. You'll never operate in abundance when you think that way. When you're thinking about ways of getting out of blessing somebody, ways of getting out of being more for someone else. My friend, you have to think abundance. If you believe and serve in the living God, how can you operate in lack? How can you operate in want? How can you not have that the Lord is your shepherd you shall not want? Why are you living in lack? Why are you believing in lack? And I've known people who are believing and living in lack like this who have money. They're just greedily holding on to it, clinging to it. And my friend, I want to tell you something, because many people get mad about me talking about money and finances and blessings and abundance. They love to quote in 1 Timothy chapter 6, well, you know, the love of money is the root of all evil. And yet they don't realize that all the things they're doing in lack and limitation, this holding back, this not tipping more, this clinging to money is exactly the love of money because it's causing them to do evil things because they love money so much. They're not doing more good because they want to hold on to their money. They're not tipping more because they want to hold on. What is more the love of money than that? That's why later in that chapter, it talks about the purpose of that admonition to not love money, that the love of money is the root of all evil, is because God gives us liberally, freely, richly all things to enjoy. You don't have to love money or cling to it in desperate fear that you might lose a penny or two. When you know the living God who gives you freely all things to enjoy, my friend, all things liberally yours, all things abundantly given to you, you don't have to hold back and not give more and make sure you, you count down to the exact penny so you don't dare be too generous. My friend, be generous. Be liberal in your giving. Cast your bread upon the water and see it return unto you. My friend, be that abundant person, that abundant person who's thinking, living, and acting in abundance. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.